Inside Joke with John DeCoven. My guest today is Mark Yaffe, who is our headliner. Welcome, Mark. Uh, I don't th know if they can see the smoke going right here, but that has nothing to do with him being Indian. It's just these candles were blown out right here. Uh, the cell phone me, melted. They thought I sent a text Let me uh, give a couple credits here for Mark. He's been on Comics Unleashed. And uh, don't worry, unlike, uh, what's the host's name again? Byron Allen. Unlike Byron Allen, I'm not going to give you questions that are going to set you up to do a joke. I have that's the original material, is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, that's an inside joke if anybody's seen that hacky show before. I'm just kidding, Mark's not a hack. But anyway, <laughs> see the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. And we don't edit anything here, by the way, so if Byron sees this, oh well. Okay, <laughs> he's also been on Showtime, he has uh, the Pow Wow Comedy Jam Tour, very funny, all Indian. Uh, who knew? More Indians than almost Jews in comedy. Yeah, for, yeah they never knew there was Indian comedy. And, so. and actually, you know, the thing is, this I've known Mark for a few years, and actually you brought up the thing about Jewish father, and I just thought it was part of your act. And I went on your website, and unless you're BSing, your father is Jewish. Yeah, Yaffe. Yeah. A lot of the Indians think it's Yazi with a lisp. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, were you adopted? I forgot. Okay, so you were adopted, Mexican mom. Jewish dad. Jewish dad, but you have Indian Race blood. That is crazy. Yeah. That's great. It's I'm America is multiplied. Right. I'm surprised you don't have more of those. Hey, I'm Jewish and Indian. I can uh, get a bargain on teepees, or I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I like, you know, like, like I do. Like I do those shows. So, uh, when did you start doing comedy? Is uh, usually what we like to start out with. I always like to go back to Miss Son's fifth grade uh, class. I got to do a skit. Fifth grade, and then uh, it lay dormant for like 30 years. I, did, I had a midlife crisis. I was like 37. Teaching traffic school. How old are you? 48. 48. Yeah. You look good. Not as good as the 19-year-old that was over there. <laughs> yeah, but, she's not, yeah. but no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant age. Sure you like you know, she looked like she was 12, and you know, but you're 48. So you started doing comedy when you're about 37. Yeah, I'm in year 11 of the 50s. So there's plan. hope for most of these guys out here in the Never too late like, to pursue your dream. Never too exactly. late, exactly. No, I was teaching traffic school. I used to work at DMV. I was a driving examiner at DMV. Yeah. Cool. To go from like the most miserable job in the world to having one of the most fun jobs. Now, honestly, <laughs> did any woman ever say she'd blow you to pass the test? No. It wasn't me. No. I was doing something else. No, you know, you, you can fantasize. Not even a bribe. I never right. cash bribe that. It's got, you think about that, right? You think some guy, like when I started delivering pizza when I was in college, you always think, oh, you're going to deliver it and some woman's going to invite you yeah. in. Well, let's episode. be realistic on the fantasy. The pizza cop thing, porn fantasy thing. <laughs> porn DMV, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really want my license. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll smile for my driver's license photo. <laughs> <laughs> Got out, yeah, I got out of DMV, opened a driving school, traffic school. Just open a traffic school. Just like doing that. something different, so that's okay. it. Let's go. I got a lesson plan, got to took a test, and then I started looking for comedy instructors. That's all. And okay. then I, and the instructor I was looking for, Karen Anderson, who ended up being a, a writer for Ellen's show, was teaching a stand up class in Sacramento. Uh -huh. So, well, she, she can't come to the phone right now, she's teaching a class. You can't take a comedy class, but sure enough, people. People teach anything if you pay them money, so I went there, checked out the class, got up on stage, they got three people laugh, and they got addicted, and that was it. Cool. cool. And now, of course, uh, the beauty of the internet, you don't even have to go to traffic school anymore. Well, yeah. It's, thank God the comedy's been I'm, get, I'm getting school. off topic. <laughs> I'm getting off topic, but uh, public... Uh, I don't know what you call it, just public information. If you ever need to go to traffic school, you can now sign up on the internet and literally have somebody do it for you. I am you. extinct as a traffic school instructor. It's beautiful. That's right. It's beautiful. So now are you doing comedy full time right now? Uh, about, about three years full time. Now. Three years full time. And are you married? Still married. So yeah. you're doing comedy full time. I'm assuming uh, your wife makes a lot of money to support you. <laughs> you got that right. That's, uh, she runs a driving school now. Yeah. Oh, she runs a <laughs> she run, Seriously? Yeah. Oh, okay. car. I trained her. Yeah, I got me well, because you live in like in some crazy. Where do you live? Well, like Kelseyville, Lake County. Yeah. Like how long a drive is that? It's about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, folks, to come here and perform for you. Um, <laughs> Oh, you know the time.
time, or I don't even know what that means, but uh, that has nothing to we do with We don't even get iPhone service. That's how backwards we are. I, I live two miles from cable yeah. and a mile from uh, um, so no DSL. Internet. No, no, I, I have to do a satellite internet. Yeah. Satellite internet. Oh, I'm like, down the roof with it. Thing. I live at the same time. Poor baby. So, uh, Which place is to be? So nice. tell you, what do you... Um, have you done the Twin Pines Casino? I'll be there next. Uh, if you're not doing it next uh, Thursday, September 10th, this is posted on. The Have you been there? there? Yeah. No, you've done that, right? I, I, I'm, I'm headlining there. Next I know Thursday. most of these people are going to find this hard to believe, but occasionally I actually get hired to do shows somewhere else, and I actually <laughs> did that room. Have you been there? Yeah. The lounge. This place looks like frickin' Caesar's Palace. <laughs> 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 Showtime. You got any, uh, Showtime premiere in November. Show, there you go. Yeah. Finally, I have, you know, Happy uh, Thanksgiving, man. Uh, I've been on here to get a real plug. Showtime, <laughs> what is that, the Pow Wow Comedy Jam? Right, it's going to be called Going Native American in the okay. Comedy Slam. That'll be on Showtime. Four, we have four of us in the Pow Wow Comedy Who's Jam. On that? Uh, myself, Jim Rule of the Bay Mills of Jimway, Milwaukee, uh, J.R. Redwater. Von Eagle That's Bear. Real, Those are mean. some real names there. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the legendary Charlie Hill. Charlie was back in the Richard Pryor days. If you've okay. seen old school comedy, he was there at Pryor, Leno, he's been on all of those. And right, right, uh, right. Larry Omaha out of LA and from Canada, there's a guy named uh, Howie Miller. Cool, yeah. cool. We're very excited. Yeah, I'll be the first Native American uh, primetime special. So. Beautiful. That's yeah. cool. I always like to, you got any, again, sticking your head just like a crazy comedy story. I mean, not, you know, quick little, like you're on stage and some woman shows your tits or some guy throws a beer bottle at you or what's kind of the worst thing you can remember. Of course, the first one would be the worst, but the second would. The worst part, um, I think the worst thing I've ever had, I had to do a show for five people uh, in Okinawa after a typhoon. Uh, and four of them were the staff. So I was like, said, you're going to do the time. You got to do what you're told. They pay you. You yeah. got to do the show. Yeah, I guess. So. I, I actually did. I did a. Uh, I shaved my head in Iraq before Stephen Colbert ever got around to doing that thing. You did it before Stephen. A Steve year ago, or... yeah, last August, I was in a flatbed truck and hit Iraq in front of 300 Marines, and mm -hmm. we said we're going to do something fun, and I got I got a hold of some flippers and a sergeant. And I told jokes and buzzed my head in the back of a flatbed. Yeah. Uh, before we get out, we're going to give, uh, what's your website? It, and that through the magic of editing, it's going to line up right here when you see this video. Right here? Yeah, just right here. however, put it up there, however you want it to go. Trailoflaughs.com. Trailoflaughs.com. All right. And for our tour names, so the, for the big tour, for the Power of Comedy, you have jokesignals.com. Right. So you have to it's Mark Yaffe. Mark Yaffe.com. And do you want to plug the shirt? Can they buy these online? Or? So you can go to the website. We have the merchandise here, the uh, Yuck Food t shirt. You might just some friends. <laughs> yeah, if you do those come in Triple X, or. Uh, you know, the problem is, and I don't think it's me, I think people are discriminating against big people. Triple X really is not that big anymore these days. Oh, so you do XXX. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, any big person, if you want to feel good about yourself, walk into the big and tall store and they have like 8X, yeah. and you're like, oh, I'm freaking studly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, well, I appreciate you coming out Thanks today, Mark. It was awesome. a great show, and uh, we'll see you soon here at Bon Joe's, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.